Hi everyone, it's Jane here. Um, I'm here to do the tutorial for Thursday for the Tando Creative Zone group and I thought that just for a change I would do some art journaling. I'm using this art journal that I decorated, oh goodness me, a couple of months ago for the Tando blog. Um, it's a journal that you make yourself, it's on the Tando Creative website and you have the covers and you have a spine and then you have the all the paper to make the signatures which you you sew in. I haven't used this art journal at all yet because basically I've just been too scared because I spent so long decorating it that I'm worried that I was going to mess up my cover but I'm going to be brave and I'm going to actually use it today. Now this first part of the video I'm going to do talk you through some of the stuff that I'm going to use and I'm going to go through some of the, the things I try to think about when I'm doing art journaling. The actual process of the art journaling will be sped up and we'll have captions just because with things like drying time and the amount of time it's probably going to take me, if you have to sit to watch me do that live, it's going to probably be a good couple of hours, which I don't think I've got enough time in the day to actually upload that onto <laughs> Facebook or, or anywhere else. Um, so this art journal or you can just use it as a normal journal has got cartridge paper in it um, most of the journals I usually work with do have a watercolor uh, paper so what I have done is just for because I know I'm going to put a lot of mediums a lot of water onto this paper I've actually stuck two pieces together and down the center I've also put some uh, it's like a, a plain washi tape um, you could use masking tape and I've actually doubled it up and the reason I've done that is because I don't want any of the, the ink or paint where it's going to have quite a lot of water and different products on to seep through into my other signatures so that's something that you can do if you don't like the idea of it going through your art art journal other art journals I've, I've um, got i have just sometimes left it because I, I don't mind too much because generally I'm going to go over the next page anyway with something um, and it's going to cover it up but because it's my nice new journal that I decorated myself I'm going to make sure that nothing's going through as much as possible anyway to do my art journaling I when I start my art journaling I don't always have a plan in fact most of the time I don't have a plan because art journaling really is about putting down how you feel, not necessarily how you feel, but just going with the flow, doing what you want to do on your page, creating as it comes to you. And that is really how I do most of my creating. I may have an idea in my head that I want to use a certain product or that certain colours are, are what I want to be using that day. But I don't usually have an idea in my head of what it's going to look like in the end it develops as I go. So with that in mind, I've just grabbed together some different products that I know that I always use when I do art journaling because it's about building up layers. So I've got um, two different sorts of stencils that, that come from the Tando Creative website. I've got my long stencils, so I may be, well, I will be using some of those. I'm not sure which ones yet. And I've also got the smaller stencils as well. These are, I think they're four inch by four inch the binder is um i don't know if it still is it used to be on the tando website it comes with the um mount board or chip uh, gray board squares inside it from what i can remember but i took those out to use for something else and that put my my little um stencils in and then just hole punched in some holes so that it keeps them all together and i did start off by being really organized and have them written down the side and things but that's another one that's not to get a bit damaged. So those I'll be using. I've also got out one of the France Papillon um, stencils just because I do tend, I know that I do use a lot of circles in my art journaling. So I've got that one out just in case I decide to um, use that one. And it is called circles. It's the smaller of the stencils. There is a larger circles one as well. And I'm going to be using some France Papillon stamps so I've just got out my the perfect words the Auntie Margot and Co 
be London, New York and Rock and Rust. And I'm not going to be using all of those. I might not even use some of the sets. But I like to sort of have them to hand um, so that I have an idea that when I want to use something, I've got a selection to choose from. I'm also going to be using some of the Tando Thins that Di bought recently to Hachanda. They're the same lovely grey board as for all the other Tando products, but these ones are much thinner and they've been specially developed so that you can put them in your art journals because obviously when you start filling these art journals up, they get <laughs> very um, big. I will try and find you one. I'm trying to think of just about to excuse a squeaky chair if you can hear it. Right, here's my one of my art journals and basically it's not all filled but um, as you go even if you're not putting in loads of layers if you can see it's already sort of bulking out and that's not even full so it's got that elastic but it's still even with the elastic it doesn't hold it shut so these are brilliant for trying to keep down that bulk that you're going to be putting in there so I've obviously been using these in the past so I've got the so it's like a chain link fence I've got only <laughs> see how I do like my circles because I've only got a couple of circles left we've got the um, sort of harlequin type design and we've got the sort of interlink interlinked squares and rectangles there as well so I'll be using some of those I am going to be using some crackle paint and some texture sand paste because um, on my last blog post I did some um, I put some Hachanda samples that had been created using rusty effects and I think it was Astrid I'm not sure I'll have to check that I did comment that it'd be nice to see how the, the rust was made so I thought I'll put do a little bit of that within the art journaling and then you can have like two for the price of one and that's my main um, thing that I use when I want to create rust and create rust on there and last but not least oh, I'm going to use some acrylic paint for definite because I will do especially to create the rust because I tend to choose a few different tones from here um, I'll probably be doing a lot of watering down when you are art journaling, the main thing I would say you need to think about is when you're doing your layers, you need to consider what products you're using. So if you're going to put some stamping on first, then you need to, and you know that later you're going to be putting water-based products or water onto that, then if you don't want those that stamping to be um, running on your page, then you need to make sure you're using a permanent ink pad such as Archival or Stays On or think memento I'm not sure I tend to use archival that's just my favorite one for art journaling um, and the same as though if you're going to use something like um, an acrylic paint as well if you want to stamp on top of that you need to think about um, what sort of products you're going to be able to use on top of the acrylic paint because it's um, going to be harder to stamp onto than if it's just water based you could use distress ink or whatever but if it's whenever I'm using um, acrylic paint, I will again use archival on top of that. That's why I generally do tend to stick to archival because I know it's going to work um, usually with whatever products I'm going to be using. So that's a little bit of an introduction. Um, I'll try and put as many captions on as I can if I think that they're going to be helpful throughout the video. Um, but if you have any questions, do please pop them in the comments underneath the video and then I'll we'll get back and I will go through them and I will answer them for you. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the other side. Yeah.